Well, we are getting a clearer picture of what will and will not reopen inside stations, casinos, hotels. The company that manages them, Red Rock Resorts, detailed it during a call with investors today. Kate Houston shows us what you can expect once they're able to reopen. Palace Station will be one of the first Red Rock Resorts properties to reopen once it's safe to do so. Today, the company announced $377 million in net revenue for the first quarter of this year. That's down 16% from where they were at last year. On the earnings call, executives said based on everything its team is hearing, casinos could be permitted to open in the coming weeks. In the meantime, Red Rock Resorts released its new health and safety protocols. This includes COVID-19 testing for workers, thermal scanners, enhanced sanitizing, and a change in the layout of the casinos. Red Rock Resorts mentioned its business model is different from others on the Strip since its revenue mainly comes from retirees and locals. The tourist part of the recovery is going to lag the recovery in the local gaming market, which we think we should be able to lead the recovery in the local gaming market given the ge geographic distribution of our properties, the quality of our properties, and frankly, the quality of our team members who are so important to have relationships with the repeat customers in our business. When casinos do reopen, there will be some changes. Slots will be reduced to 50% capacity. Table games will be cut down to three people per table. Poker rooms and buffets will be temporarily closed. Movie theaters, while good for business, will temporarily close because of the lack of movie distribution. Kate Houston, 8 News Now.